Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Uh, okay, Dad. I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Hey, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it! And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed! You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy! A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar... I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah, anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Hey, yeah, well, that's me, Jim. Here we are at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen. Balls. What the fuck, dude? Fuck that shit. <sighs> hey, into the buddy. pier? Where's All right. Tomorrow, but if right? I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being.
telling me. Jesus Christ. No, no. Wait. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I've got to give you the number of that headshot guy. What on earth? How I guess it is real. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit. Dad. Don't... Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey! Ah, fuck, no. man! I like that! What's problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Let's talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! to so 
self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I... I, like, did some blow. You did blow? Yeah, I did some blow, and that might, like, make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admissing anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. After you ruined my day, stole my friendship, capped them, and I'm the one on trial? They started it. And we wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't hung out with some creepy-ass porno people and done blow! Uh, you didn't know I did blow until I told you I did blow, so this should be like an increase in trust and honesty thing. And porno dudes are like the best dudes I can be with. Porno dudes? Really? Yeah, they actually respect women and treat us right. It's Los Santos, Dad. What do you expect when he moved here? Enough! This conversation is over! Keep hiding your head in the clouds. The 50s are over. Even the 80s are over. See? That's the problem. Because they're not over in my head. Well, grow up! my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. I'm sorry. You ruined my life. I've given you everything, babe. If you have seen how your mother and I got brought up. Are you calling me to bore me? I called to apologize. Well, you've done that. Goodbye. Love you, Angel. Is he dead? I didn't kill him, but I should have. Well, he isn't answering his cell, and he didn't show at the tennis club. Well, he must have skipped town, as he should have. Next time I'll run your street skank out of L.S. I bring one to the house and ask you to pay? You're more than welcome. Michael DeSanta. Mr. Madrazo. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm working on something. You'll have that money soon. Good. Well, I would have wanted to keep you from your work. Hey, you my dude, right? And you know it. Mr. DeSanta. Hey, I just wanted to check. How much was it you needed for those repairs? It was a mill or something, right? It was the two. 2.5 range. Something over 2.5 will be sufficient. That's right. Mr. DeSanta, I'm starting to get worried. The contractors need to be paid. I don't know what to say. I'm working on it. Don't say anything. Just get me the money. Next time, it will be a machete, not a baseball bat. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg. <laughs> 